Let's do it, boo! AEW Collision Episode 2. I am your host, Cool Tay. Thank you so much for joining us. We are live and sold out as some people say the studio of what they love. St. Louis, Missouri, as my co-host, Expert Gaming. We are ready for a action pack end of the week here at EPP. Coming out tonight, we have a blockbuster main event. Will Hill and Jim to the line. Hangman Adam Page will face the tribal Keith Roman Reigns. In the main event of the evening, this one's going to be absolutely insane. Let me know in the career chat who you guys got winning this matchup. It's going to be absolutely can't miss. Also coming up tonight, we have the AEW Tag Team Champion of the World. The Street Pop is over turning here tonight. I can't wait for this one, ladies and This one's going to be absolutely insane. What's on the mind of our AEW Tag Team Champions? We'll find out later on tonight here on AEW Collision. I cannot wait. And then we got Kenta and Baron Corbin making their AEW Collision debut. Kenta, the dangerous Kenta. It is going to be in for a treat here against Baron Corbin. Who you guys got winning this matchup here? We have, have we haven't seen these guys since NXT Takeover weekend. For Kenta and uh, and we haven't seen Corbin since draft. And then we have an AEW TBS Championship Eliminator match. It's the AEW TBS Champion AJ Lee taking on Lacey Evans. Here, and this will actually start us off here. Because this will be your first match of the evening here live for episode two of AEW Collision. Who you guys got wearing this one? Let's get, let's get down to ringside. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Action pack show. I'm excited for this one. As here comes Miss Lacey Evans. As, as Lacey, I've been looking to get some. Payback after what happened last week. She felt disrespected in her words. I agree with her. This is what it was. You know, um, Lacey felt like AJ Lee is, you know, is not fit to be our women's champion here. She would say it was bullying, but I disagree with that. I don't think it was um, bullying at all. I think Lacey Evans is right because this is what Lacey Evans is all about. She is a real woman and modernized woman and probably one, one of my favorites here on, on the Collision roster. And I think we guarantee you will be a future AEW TBS Women's Champion. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that, you know. Um, people claim it was bullying. I disagree. And, and we, we, we will find out what true bullying is in this matchup. Here's the time. You know, I'm not surprised you believe that, Cole. Lacey Evans is what I'm trying to a bully. And he looks to teach her bully lesson tonight here on Collisions. Out comes the reigning TBS Women's Champion, AJ Lee. AJ, maybe a little car by, by Lacey Evans, maybe has the height advantage, size advantage over the TBS Champion. I feel like AJ Lee will get the job done here tonight, opening bout of the evening in St. Louis. Uh, nah, nah, it ain't gonna happen. It was not bullying, you know? Why y'all say these days that bullying is coming the truth? You know, it, it, you know, it, everything that Lace never said was the truth. You know, I'm right, right? I mean, she, it definitely was not the truth. But here's the thing, Cole. That's not about the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. But to find out, oh, wow, okay, well, maybe not. They spoke too soon. Evans with a boot to the face of AJ Lee immediately. As here we go. Yeah, look at that. She's she's hot. She's the king. She's the blonde. Lacey Evans. Just look at the power and physique of a uh, of a woman like that. Isn't it, 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 it amazing, expert? Isn't it amazing? Listen, I'll, I'll give her props for serving for our country. All right, I salute her service, but she doesn't give her the right to act the way she does, behave the way she does. She, she acts like she thinks she's above everybody else and, and every other woman in the back. And I don't think that's the truth at all. I think Lacey Evans has a whole lot of proving herself to do here in AEW, here in CTP. I think that whenever you serve this country, the one of the greatest countries in the world, and whenever whenever you do this as a Marine veteran, by the way, sir, a Mar you put some respect on the name of this woman. She's a Marine veteran, sir. Watch that disrespect. 
But she just, just, just expecting the TBS Women's Champion, not giving her props for coming back after almost a decade I away. I salute you, Because of a broken neck. If we had Candace Array, one of the best women in the world right now, I'd take over London to win the Women's Championship. And she refused to give her any props. She refuses to give her the respect AJ Lee deserves that she's earned throughout her career. Lacey Evans thinks that she's earned respect just because she walks around here with blonde hair and she's above 5'4". Give me yeah, a break. Just, just laughing and taunting AJ Lee. I, I love it. I absolutely love it because this is what Lacey Evans is all about here. Perfection. Of course, you got to remember, a little over a year ago now, Lacey took, took it to... Ronda Rousey back over on SmackDown. But after he put down by Ronda Rousey, Lacey Evans didn't really get a whole lot going on the SmackDown women's division. Look at turn that around here on Collision. This new start, season eight, new shows, new rosters, new management. Right now she's doing that. Because I gotta admit, so far she has been dominating the women's champion in this match. Exactly. She she's doing exactly what she said she was gonna do last week. Did, didn't she say this last week? Did she say this? Everything everything she called about AJ Lee last week is coming to fruition right here, right now, in this match. Love to That's see. Why, well, I mean you gotta you gotta admit though, Lacey Evans catch her off guard with a boot to the face. I mean, that was a little that was a little bit of a cheap shot. The bell had barely yeah. rung for God's sake. Ah, oh, come on, you gotta pay attention, bro. Pay attention to what's going on, pay attention to your surroundings when when that in, in the squared circle. The bell rang, so it was totally illegal. As Lacey Evans oh, just has AJ stuck in the corner now, just to stop the midsection of the TBS Women's Champion. AJ's in big trouble right now here on Collision. This, is, this isn't looking good for our champion at all. Oh, Lacey Evans doing well, it as it. she would say, quote unquote, like a woman, whatever that means. Yes, yes, yeah, she, she's she's doing it like a woman should be, handling her business. She's standing. Oh, what the young folks say? She's standing on business. That that's what she's doing right now. So are you saying, Cole, that AJ isn't a woman? She isn't a real woman because she's not tall and violent like Lacey Evans is? Because she isn't staying up until 1 a.m. slaving away for a husband who does nothing but stay at home and watch TV all day? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, no, no. no. I, a, a, AJ Lee is a woman. She she does have that respect. But I think that, you know, AJ Lee and Lacey Evans have a, a different definition of what a woman is. That's, that's, that, that's plain facts. I, I agree with them. Lacey now. Oh, big arm drag there. Takes down AJ. And AJ can actually even get going out of the blocks here in the early goings of this matchup. This is not good at all for the TBS champion. We could very well be looking at Lacey Evans picking up the win tonight. Remember, she does win. Because we should shot the women's championship. Oh, jeez. Into the cover. That could do it right in the neck of AJ. It's it's the win. AJ hey, hey, wait, hey, come on. That was three. What are we doing? Uh, that was a rope One. break. The referee saw it. Stopped the count like she should. What's wrong with that? No, no, no. The referee was kind of like taking her sweet time. Does she have a bias against real hardworking women or something over there? Like, what are you doing, ref? I highly doubt that. The referee was just doing her job, calling it down the middle, fair and square. But nonetheless, you and your bias is now getting off the ropes into the arm drag. Not, it, it, it's not bias. It's I'm speaking facts, bro. Sure. It's now AJ bringing the fight back. Maybe not. Countered by LAC again. Now, Lacey Evans, what is this? Oh, Cobra Clutch locked in. Cobra Clutch. This could be it. Bye-bye, AJ. Here. It's over. It's over. Tap out here. Lacey Evans is going to be your victor. She's going to she's gonna get a future shot at that championship. You, you Look right here, expert. You're looking at your future AEW TBS Women's Champion. That's what, that's what we're looking at right now. That's exactly what we're looking at. I, 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 I love to see it. Yeah, look at, look, at, look at AJ. She's going to pass out. She's going to pass out. Come on. Pass out, girl. You, you, you can't take you, you can't take the physique of that Marine right there. What? How? How did she get out of that? No way. No way. Oh. AJ now fighting back. Finally, the champion gets on to get going here in this matchup. Now, oh, big shoulder block. Lacey, Lacey does, barely moves, though. But I'm back to the knee. Smart AJ. Smart the part of AJ Lee versus AJ the veteran in this matchup. Nah, you, you talk about taunting. Look at look, 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 AJ Lee. She got a little momentum and she she didn't think that she on cloud nine. Girl, the match ain't over yet. Right, okay, okay, good for you. Good for you, girl. 
Good for you. AJ Big Brock right there takes down Lacey. Evans could be in trouble now. The champion oh, now up in the top rope. Has Lacey in her sights. Big leg drop. Into the black heart of Lacey Evans. As now. Black heart is crazy. AJ, crucifix bomb. Well, I mean, the way she acts around here in the locker room, I mean, I, yeah, I think she's a black heart. Respects everybody she comes across. Even you, but I'm not, but somebody who sit there and take it. It's now, AJ and the Hurricane Rana. First of all, I've never been disrespected by Lacey Evans. She's always had nothing but nice things to say about me. Maybe you're hearing rumors. Uh-huh. I, I highly doubt that. I've definitely seen it. Oh, in my eyes. Many a times here on Collision. But AJ, the, the spin heel kick to the face there. Lacey Evans now back into the ring. This could be the no. opening AJ Lee needed to get the win. No way. No, 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 no. Late Lacey. I think Lacey's no. out. She could be out. That's it. Cover. What are we doing? Hooks a leg. Who? Oh, that was close. Oh. Oh. That was a little. That was a little too close for comfort, man. Lacey, Lacey I don't know what Lacey's doing here. And, and again, AJ Lee to the leg again. She's targeting that leg. Oh, what is this? Wait a minute, look at this. AJ with an arm bar locked in here, center of the ring. Lacey has nowhere to go. This could be it. Lacey, Lacey, what, what, what are we doing? Get, get out. Get out, get, get out that arm bar. No, no. Uh-oh. And now Lacey Evans. Connors. Oh, boy. And, oh, 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 a car there by Lacey. Now, AJ Lee. Connors her. AJ Lee. Ah! Shining wizard. Right to the face of Lacey Evans. And now, again, the old boys locked in. Ah! Come on! Revenge is a dish best served pulled. AJ Lee gets the win here on Collision with a tap out over Lacey Evans as it is over. That was a false win. I, 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 think, I think that was a fluke expert. I, I think we need a, a, a That was a tap out in the middle of the ring. Here's a replay. This is a replay. Tap out, center of the ring, it is over. A redo. A rising back to the line to go. Lacey Evans, AJ Lee with a big win. To kick off AW Collision here in St. Louis, Missouri. What a match. And we'll, we'll wait for TBS Women's Chamber. The question is, what is next for AJ? Well, never mind. Uh, more of that question. I think we might have an answer already, full. Here comes the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka. That's who's next for AJ Lee, the former WWE Women's Champion, SmackDown Women's Champion, NXT Women's Champion, Raw Women's Champion. Probably undefeated for over a year and a half before losing a streak to Amber Moon back in season four. Jack Empress of Tomorrow is here. And look at this stare down. AJ Lee, me Asuka. Asuka. Me, AJ Lee. You know, she says, we're ready for Oscar Cole, but you got to wonder, is AJ ready for the Empress? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the, what the what is that? Oh, my God. I mean, say that the heel guy. What the hell is going on here? Well, you see, that's what they're tapping. They're tapping on, bro. Uh, they do be here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but what is the meaning of this? We saw EO on Rampage Road over Street of Dean. Oh, that's Friday night. You haven't seen Kyrie in, in, in quite some time at all. And I think you're I'm mugging AJ Lee. What's it all about? Directing traffic as Tyler and EO put the boost to the champion. Oh, oh no, come on now. This isn't right. EO with the over the moon salt to AJ Lee. Beautiful. I love that. Oh no, not, not Kyrie Sane. I love it. Insane elbow. elbow. Statement is made. 
Kairi Sane, Io Sky, and Asuka have been brought together. Oh, what a kick. Seemingly, with one common goal. What do they call themselves, expert? I, I, I don't know what to the call them. I, I mean, I, I have no idea, but it seems like the power in the Collision Women's Division has now shifted with the formation of this new dangerous trio. Sky, Spain, Asuka may now, they very well now run Saturday nights on Collision. Mm, so, man. Wow. What a start for that. There's Drew McIntyre. Pacing back and forth here. Of course, Drew lost. Three way match made around last week's collision to Roman Reigns. Match also walked between Nakamura. As, but, but there's Matt Riddle. Hey, 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 oh. hey, what, what is this about? Oh, my oh God. man. What is Drew doing? Drew attacks Matt Riddle. Oh, oh my God. God. What was that for? Bro, just want to be up to McIntyre, seeing if he was if he was okay. And Drew is assaulting. Riddle for no reason. Now, he's not here to reach. He's not here to the ring. This wasn't this wasn't planned. What schedule, folks? Well, it wasn't on my run sheet. Well, what well, is well, Drew McIntyre well, well, doing? Well, 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 he's pissed off. He got he got screwed over by Roman Reigns last week. That that that's why he's not here. McIntyre feels like he should be in Roman Reigns' spot right now. Of course, if Mr. Mayor Battle last week, it was supposed to be a three-way between McIntyre, Nakamura, Roman Reigns for at least 95% of the match. It was, it was not, not McIntyre versus Nakamura, sorry. So suddenly, the ranking out of the ring when the two men, the two punts were sufficiently damaged by each other, came out, speared both men, and won the match. Like, it was nothing. Reigns cheated to, to, to win last week, and McIntyre is not happy. I can't blame him, but I mean... Why go so far as attack Matt Riddle who did nothing but trying to see if you were okay? I mean, was that called for, really? Matt Riddle getting in my damn way. I'm pissed off. I don't need, I, I, I don't need distractions in the way. Dude, I'm the favorite here among the Collision fans, but tonight, after that attack, he has earned a round of booze from St. Louis, Missouri, and I cannot blame this time whatsoever. McIntyre is very upset. He doesn't say the word. Look, I know I'm not meant to be out here, but to be honest, I don't give a damn. Boo me all you want for what I did to Riddle just now, but he should have stayed out of my way. Last week, when it was supposed to be my time, I was screwed over by that piece of garbage Roman Reigns. Since I lost my NXT championship last year, I have to have to scratch and claw and fight my way back to the top of the mountain from Aleister Black to Apollo Crews, to the elite, to John Cena, now to the self-proclaimed tribal chief. While I have had to fight you, Roman, have been gifted the world. You've gotten world title shot after world title shot. You got a crack at Karrion Cross when he was at his most unbeatable. You gotta be the one to retire The Undertaker, and I am sick of this bullshit. Listen to me and listen real good. If I have to take you down and burn your entire bloodline to the ground to get to Hangman and win the World Heavyweight Championship back, then so be it. Well, McIntyre laying out a law on Roman Reigns with the bloodline. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Uh oh. Lights well, around that here. Good. Oh, no. Well, we saw this last week with Hangman Page. That's right with Drew McIntyre. Seems like Nakamura has quite the punch off the record men during their promos. As here comes another man involved in the three way match last week. The two of Strong Styles in the house. Vince Nakamura, another guy that was screwed over. Uh, he really, he really he had, to, had to defend for himself. It really was not even a multi-man match. It, it was everybody, it was everybody against Nakamura. I, I, I wonder, like, how, how does he feel about it? Does, does he agree with McIntyre? Or does 
He's coming out here just to just put Mike and try to shut the hell up and stop crying. I hate you guys. You gotta admit though, Mike Watson's a lot more calm about this than Mad Empire does. ドリューとマツキンタイヤ、付属上、ローマン、レインズに関するあなたの指摘に私も同意します。彼は確かにひとびこんで、私たちのチャンスを盗みました。忘れないでください。私は先週も付けました。でも、あなたと私の違いは、あなたは私が理由もなく、人を攻撃しているのを見ていないこと、私が置き見すぎのように、戦車を起こしているのを見ていないということです。つけたら立ち上がって、しずき Seeing a fight right here in Cleveland right now between these two. Now, the one McIntyre. Here we go. I'm ready for it, man. Let's go. It's about to go down here in St. Louis. Not the one McIntyre. I, I, whoa, whoa. Get that r a y u s o That's j i m y Uso. The Usos are here. The, the Bloodline's taking Not the one McIntyre. Reigns sending the Usos out here to deal, to deal with the Dirty Works Forum. But I don't know if I'm going to deal with Nakamura or McIntyre. He's focusing on the main event tonight with Hangman Page. The Usos out here doing, doing his, his bidding. Oh, like the puppets they are. Come on now. The Usos are、oh, taking it to, to these two. This is uncalled for. Puppets? No, they're, they're not damn puppets. They're, 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 they're people that respect r o m a n Reigns and his p i s t o n Oh no, this is not good for the Usos. Oh, p i s t o n Asa! Well, just like that, down goes Jimmy, down goes Jay, out goes Jimmy. Why、well, did Jay Long get it? Looks like it. And Nakamura sent Jay out of the ring. These ones try their best. Well, these two fans p l o w tonight. Now the w a r McIntyre over the Usos. Let's look up and go back on a breaking point match here at Collision. And been m u c h tonight so far. Wow. Yo, what's up? It's your co host, JNW Boss, and we would like to welcome you to the Hot Tag Podcast, where two dudes enjoy their love of professional wrestling, though the love we have for each other is a little, uh, how do you say, complicated. Well, you're damn right, man, because all the time I'm trying to talk some serious stuff. You're WWE, AEW, and you're bringing that hot garbage of Impact Wrestling here, man. Dude, it's a freaking intro. Can you not right now? Please. Fine, fine, fine. Thank you all for joining us once again here. Get your snacks, get your drinks, because it's time for the Hot Tag Podcast with JW and the J Dog. Well, guys, we're back to Collision. Make sure, make sure you guys go check out our sponsor and、uh, ad of the video. We really, really appreciate those guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue on with the action. We, we want to show you guys what happened early on tonight. If you, in case you are just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, with AJ Lee, our TBS champion, w a s a t t a c k Clearly, man. Like, it was crazy as Oscar. Came out here, we're thinking that Austin's gonna confront Agent Lee to be the next challenger for the, the TBS championship, but out of nowhere, Dennis t i c k e r came out of nowhere, tied back to him, and then come out of nowhere and attack him. Uh, Agent Lee, and, and laying her out, insane elbow and all, as these two women stand tall. We still don't know who, what the hell to call them, and this story is still developing, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Collision. That is right. It's the baddest girl on the block, the hottest signing in CTP history, Loera Loca Taya Valkyrie. 
and I have to say, I am appalled at what happened earlier tonight to our poor TBS champion, AJ. Appalled at the fact that I couldn't do it myself, but I hear we have a new group around here. Damage control, the three of you want to call yourselves. Well, listen up. Kyrie, EO, Asuka, you can carry on doing what you're doing as long as you stay out of my way and keep the TBS championship out of your grubby uggo paws because that belt belongs to me, whether AJ knows it yet or not. Let's get one thing perfectly clear. Damage control, Taya Valkyrie does not fear you. And unlike the rest of the women's roster who are evidently hiding away in the locker room, I will stand up to you if you even think about challenging for that title before I do. I mean, why should I be afraid of someone who's scared of me? Asuka, you can pull the wool over everyone else's eyes, but not me. I saw the fear in you when we went face to face last week, and that's why you had to go get your little friends from Japan. Now on to bigger and better things. I haven't been able to compete these last few weeks because I just had a Manny Petty done, and I really didn't want to mess up this fresh paint job, but I think it's time for Loera Loca to make an impact. So I'm issuing an open challenge to any woman on the roster to meet me in the ring next week on Collision for the biggest debut in women's wrestling. See you soon, ladies. Somebody give me a barf bag, please. Oh, man. Just, just such a hater, man. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Isaiah Mackey, and I'm standing by with a man who later tonight will be going one-on-one -on -one with the black son, Kenta. Without further ado, please welcome the lone wolf, Baron Corbin. Baron, after your altercation with Kenta last week, are you at all fearful of your opponent and his abilities? Not at all. Why would I be afraid of someone like Kenta? He's just another loser from the land of the rising sun who thinks they can make it big over here in the States, where wrestling really matters. That guy can kick rocks for all I care. And speaking of losers, why don't we talk about Hook? I have never seen someone with more beginner's luck than that kid. He's a scrub, he got lucky against Punk at WrestleMania, and he's only being put on such a high pedestal because his dad runs this place. He's got a point. Those are some strong words, Baron. I do have to remind you, however, that Hook submitted you in the middle of the ring last week. Is that really the work of someone who, as you put it, possesses beginner's luck? Not to make this about me, but personally, I'd have to disagree. Isaiah Mackey, oh, whoa, 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 what the, what's that for? Oh, come on. He, he doesn't work, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't work in, the, in the ring. He's an interviewer, for God's sake. He, he disrespected Barry Corbin. That was the man. Anyways, we're going to move on here. Time for some AEW Cruiserweight Championship action here. Yes, are you ready for this one? As our champion, Kyle O'Reilly. Who want to remind you, defends that championship on all three brands, AEW Dynamite, RH, and uh, Collision itself. We'll be taking on this man. It's making his he debut tonight. Cole, this is, I can tell you right now, seeing this man firsthand is going to be one hell of a match. It is. It's LIJ, hosting around with Zay Halpone in Japan. The time bomb himself, Hiromu Takahashi. Arguably the greatest shooting heavyweight in the modern era over in New Japan has been top of that division in that country for nearly a decade now. They're looking to fight his trade in America, in the States, and become super champion here in AEW. But to do that, he has to go up against a man for WrestleMania, had arguably the match of the weekend. Champion himself, the violent artist, Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly, of course, took on and defeated former champion, former best friend, Roderick Strong at WrestleMania. I mean, Cole, tell us, what, what, what a match that was wrestling between O'Reilly and Strong in London. It was, it was probably one of the craziest matches I've, I've ever seen. It was absolutely wonderful. Kyle O'Reilly really did his thing in, in, in that match, man. And like, th this one might even be better than that. It, it might be a war. I'm not gonna lie to you. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Cruiserweight Championship that covered it right there. AEW Cruiserweight Championship is around Mr. Kyle O'Reilly's race. As I stated before, this championship can be defended on all three brands here in CQP. So, Kyle, you, you might see Kyle O'Reilly if he retain. He might, he might defend that championship on Dynamite next week. Or he might show up to RH 
and telling someone there for that championship. Is any in any place, anytime, anywhere, that can be a championship to be online within two to three. Hell, he might he, he could even still have to rampage if he wants to. It's all up to him, and it's all up to the general manager, the Kong. But tonight, Kyle Riley's big deal is Mr. Taka, Taka, right? Mr. Hero. Okay, Mr. Hero. Hero Takahashi, correct. I mean, oh. I've seen Kyle Riley wrestle before, but I tell you right now, he is far, far less predictable than Roger Strong was from Kyle O'Reilly. I mean, yeah, as you can see, he's very, uh, let's just say, eccentric, a, a little out there. And really, a I mean, he can do anything and everything inside of that ring. So a little out there. Watch, watch out. Can you see him? I mean, he he bring down the ring at full speed for the entrance. So yeah, I mean, Hiromu doesn't exactly have his head on his shoulders. He he, he ate three plates before this match, man, and, and, and ran out of here like he had energy of a of a five year old. And he He's made one of the Still. Did. I mean, I guess I that because they know going off the cards real quick. As O'Reilly looks set for you know, this match, it's WrestleMania for Kyle O'Reilly. So you gotta wonder if those scars have healed up from his back against Roderick Strong. Like a showcase of the, of the Immortals. It's only been a couple weeks, but after back like that, you gotta think those those wounds will still linger a little bit for Kyle O'Reilly. I mean, he was pushed a little by Roderick Strong. Here we go. We settle in for a championship match. First one of the evening. First of two, of course, the main event. For a championship match. We're running for this Henry Adam Page. That's going to be one hell of a main event. As right again, O'Reilly goes for the big boot. Like I saw it coming. Hiromu now hammering away on the champion. Oh! Hiromu in New Japan has defeated some of the best junior heavyweights like Kushida, El Desperado. Kenny Omega, just name a few. It's, oh, I see again the unique offense there from Takahashi takes down a rally there, where I guess you could call that a suplex a scoop slam. I, 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 I'm assuming so. Takahashi has some very interesting offense on, to, to, be, to be on display here. But Kyle O'Reilly said he's been working on some things himself before coming into the new season, new year. We'll see what he has on display here. This is first, I believe. Is this his second or third defense of this gym? Or his first? I... This is his first. He won the championship back at WrestleMania over Roderick Strong. And I mean, you gotta think. One thing about Kyle O'Reilly is this is first, his first real match. Rotten Spirit Era anywhere in his sights. I mean, of course, Kevin Steen, Roderick Strong over on Dynamite. Adam Cole, nowhere to be seen. Bobby Fish, no longer in CTP. So you wonder what Kyle O'Reilly's gonna do on his own. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that looks nasty. Yeah, I tried to hide there, right? Off, off the middle rope of the senton, onto the back of the Riley, where Riley's neck can look like, oh! And with, the, and with the Undisputed Era just being in shambles, literally, since WrestleMania, I, you know, it'll be interesting to see where everybody's career paths will go this season. As they, oh, jeez! Oh, On the floor... The probably driver there by Takahashi. Now Hiromu playing up for a sliding knee. Jeez, Kate Nakamura the there. Neighbors right there, man. You could have you broke that man's neck. Hiromu, as long as it hurts the point, it doesn't matter if it hurts himself. That That's his his motto, his MO. Oh, so yeah. Hiromu now on the apron. Oh, wow. Red. That could be it. Yeah, it's over. New champion. Oh, that was close. How about that a new champ that, that quickly? I mean, yeah, this is the guy who, back in 2016 in New Japan, one of his very first matches there, for IWGP, your junior heavyweight championship, took on Kushida, who at the time was undefeated for nearly a year. He came in, defeated Kushida in three minutes. Wow. That is that is what this guy does inside that ring. You see that right now against O'Reilly. O'Reilly has tried to turn his back around real quick. He wants to walk out of Kalupi tonight. Still a champion. No, uh, no. Uh, there we go. O'Reilly got to the leg here. He'll hook locked in. This could be it. It's the force attack. Yeah, man. I, I, it, it's locked in tight. It, oh, man. Hiromu just a few years ago 
broke his neck in a match against Dragon Lee. It was out for of action for almost a year and a half. Came back. Amelia defeated Will Ospreay. Put that WWE doing heavyweight championship back. Oh, he's been look, he looked better than ever ever since. And that was almost a half decade ago now. I mean, you you only see athlete come back from a broken neck and act like nothing ever happened. I it, it, it's it takes a special breed to do that, bro. You have to be special to do all that stuff. As right now, Riley on the back foot as he gets, as goes outside the ring trying to trying to get some breath here, catch some breath. So now Hiromu on the top rope again. What is this? Off the top to the floor with a second. Oh my God! And Riley in big trouble now. Takahashi again with the knee to the face. This guy's just different. I, I you know, in, in a great way because he adds some something that you don't see within this division and i feel like kyle o'reilly literally could be a one and done wow oh my God. Oh my God. and if these strikes to keep connecting like they are right now i think you could be right cole it's now at the middle of getting over some time but can really saw coming kyle there to fight back maybe uh oh again again riley been using for this mission to the advantage back to the knee with the knee bar this time Went to the heel earlier. Now this time going to the knee of Hiromu. Let's go this mission on the smart from Kyle. We realize he's going to get the tap that way. As now over the top. Hiromu hangs on. Big form strike by the challenger. Takahashi now to the top rope again. But Kyle has to get him down there. Down from there real quick. He wants to have a chance of retaining in this match. And there he goes. As right now, O'Reilly going after the, again, formerly broken neck. She is all oh, big pump for him there right across the face. I'm a super punch there from O'Reilly. Now the champion, I think it's found an opening finally, I guess the challenger, maybe Takahashi gassing out a little early here. Shades of a uh, wait boxer in the first couple rounds of a fight. But throw it all actually trying to get the knockout win. As the fight goes on, they slowly lose energy. We get more and more tired, allowing the, the smaller man, in this case, our first man, and Kyle O'Reilly, to take advantage and get that win. Maybe not, though. The remove fighting back. Moves out of the way of the knee. Kick to the gut. Another cold red connects. This is now the challenge. We're going to fight back. Has him up again. On the shoulders. Rolling Death Valley Driver. Goes over into the pin. Hooks the leg. Could get the championship in his first match. CTP only gets a two. We've seen this earlier, but nope, this time. Saw earlier, Kyle rolling outside the ring, trying to get to breather, but this time, Takashi caught him, caught him, bringing him back into the ring. Quick roll to the floor. Now Riley into the roll up, but uh, again, the rope's coming into play. Saw that earlier on with Lacey and AJ Lee as well. Now Riley kicks to the gut. What is this, O'Reilly? Sheer drop, ring buster. Right on top of his head goes Takahashi into the cover again, back to the neck, goes O'Reilly, could get the win. No, only a two. Kyle can't believe it. As now Takahashi. And big trouble here, Riley. But butterfly. Rolls through. Holds on. Rolls through again. Third time. No. This time into a face buster down goes Takahashi. Now the time bomb in trouble. As Kyle O'Reilly, the champion, the violent artist, in a butterfly suplex this time. He it. And O'Reilly can't capitalize. O'Reilly has been beat up. He is hurt. I did this match, match against Roger Strong WrestleMania as well. You gotta wonder if it's smart for Kyle O'Reilly to come back so soon after that match, especially against Kung like, like, Takahashi and the Time Bomb. While well, Riley's staying on his challenger here, goes to the boots to the chest, to the heart. Now into the corner, big nice fetch top to the chest, focusing on the chest now, and on the back, driving the form, the elbow, and the lower back of the challenger. As now, what is this? Uh oh. As Hiromu up on the top rope, belly to back, superplex, oh my goodness, that could do it. That could do it again to the neck, goes Kyle. And now O'Reilly has to go for the pin though. Instead, just driving the boots to the back of the neck. Of Takahashi, is a crowd here in St. Louis, but saying this is awesome for this match, as it is. As now, but Hiromu fighting back. DT again spikes him. Some of Takahashi, already back up to his feet. Now up to the top rope again. Takahashi looking to fly once more. 
with a championship again to send Tom connects to the midsection of O'Reilly. Hooks the leg. Lateral press. Oh, and only a two count. Close, but no cigar there from Takahashi. It's now Hiromu. Try to think about what he has to do next to put away the champion. He won the title in his first match CTP. But now what is this? Has the arm tapped again? Now Takahashi just driving this boots in the back of O'Reilly. Good lord, the vicious is on display from the challenger. And I may be thinking time bomb two. Fishing mover just hits, it's over. And coming time bomb two connects. It's over. Hooks the leg. New champion. One, two, and got it. Now O'Reilly somehow survives. You have got to be kidding me. Haromu cannot believe it. They are on their feet for this one, St. Louis, Missouri. Now Romu comes in, big drop pick, but O'Reilly stays on his feet. O'Reilly stays standing, and O'Reilly not big form strike. And another one, Kyle somehow fighting his energy deep within himself. Soul and his spirit, the heart of the team coming out here right now. Big combination right there from O'Reilly. Close the rest, may as well against Roderick Strong in that classic matchup. O'Reilly somehow just finds us in the tank to fight back to heat up from out of nowhere. From the, from the bridge, from the depths. And O'Reilly again with a combination of strikes. Kyle O'Reilly firing up here. O'Reilly on fire. And now into the corner goes Hiromu. Great a shot again to the chest. Kyle now with the other mind. Oh, sends him into the turnbuckle face first. And now has him against the no turnbuckle. What is this? Kyle, oh, just, oh, man. Got the arm there, just kicked. Hiromu's, I think his elbow went in the middle rope. Could have broken the arm. And off the top rope with a big forearm strike. Right to the face. No, O'Reilly is feeling it here. And, oh, again, the kick right to the lower back there. Bro, now, smartly, Hiromu to the floor, taking it a breather. But Kyle's going to follow him out there. Kyle now with the apron of the right to the face. And now Kyle O'Reilly with the Romu in trouble. Sends him into the guard rail back first. And now, just a barrage of strikes here for the champion. Right on the fist on Takahashi. And now has Hiromu, what is this? Has him up, look at this, hammer lock, into a suplex, good war on the floor. And now Kyle going back to the arm. Sends him into the ring. This could be the opening he needed. This could be the gasp. He needed the stretch of offense he needed in this match to really establish a firm control here over the challenger. And now O'Reilly gonna go back to the arm Takahashi. Doesn't matter which one it is, O'Reilly will go to it and he will use it. He will fetch it out, he will make sure it's unusable for his opponent for the rest of this match. He's had to kind of compare how O'Reilly is now. O'Reilly hits him down, O'Reilly hits him down now. Look at this, the open punch right to the face. On strikes to the face. I think he got through a couple of them there, but I got here with a block. I think most of the strikes. As now, has him up onto his feet. Rip cord. Knee strike. Right to the jaw. Couldn't, that could be it, but O'Reilly isn't done now. O'Reilly isn't done. Again, kick him down. And look at this. I got the pump strike to the face. Now this time floats over into an arm bar. Arm bar on his own guard for the arm earlier in the match. Arm bar is no more for Nagashi to go here. Can't reach the ropes. Could this be it? Will this be up for Riley to retain? But oh, Hiromu. Gonna get back up to vertical base. Escaping the armbar here. Now Hiromu. But Kyle O'Reilly, oh. Boots in the back of the champion. And now Hiromu goes through the middle rope. Goes after the back of O'Reilly there. Went for the cross body, but Kyle's all coming. Smart by O'Reilly, the champion. Rolling out of the way, he ropes to get back up to his feet. Avoiding the cross, but one that one, good lord. To the, from the ring to the floor, there and goes both champion and challenger. This has been one hell of a match here collision, folks. For the Premier Championship, this was all about for these two men. For rally for Takahashi, and now rally Regal puts on the floor, oh my god. The back of his neck floating like a damn accordion. And Kyle O'Reilly. Again with the right with the palm strikes. And now in the armbar. Come on the floor. Can't, can't win out here, Kyle, but nonetheless. Armbar on the floor to Takahashi and Romu just tap. Romu submits, but Kyle. 
get the, that's to get the win. Let's do inside the ring to, to get the championship. But I think O'Reilly's gone to that place deep in his mind. So he just is out for blood now. And now look at this. Assist by the official. This couldn't get a count out here. Kind of seven. Hiromu is done. Hiromu is done here. But O'Reilly breaks out the count. O'Reilly ends up punching the, the challenger. O'Reilly has lost it. Oh, again. Chevy with his vicious onslaught here. And now throws him into the ring finally. O'Reilly. With that far away look in his eyes here, folks. I don't know if you can see it on, on TV, but here in the building, he has a strange look in his eyes. Kyle O'Reilly may be gone behind those eyes. And now the violent artist. But the pop race again, now again into the arm bar. Third time's a charm here. Arm bar in again. And this time, Romu supposed to tap. Romu taps. O'Reilly retained the championship. What a match. Kyle O'Reilly may very well be on another level here in collision with a big win. First defense successful. Over. Takahashi here. What a match that was. O'Reilly secures the tap and the win here in St. Louis over a game, game time bomb tonight. Looks like O'Reilly's back with almost self as Kyle O'Reilly remains. With which I've been here on a new collision. But the question is, who is next for the violent artist? Whether it's Dynamite, whether it's Christian, whether it's ROH, whether it's even Rampage. Hope you're watching that one. As you want to change it, you have to go through a man who was on his A game right now in the form of Kyle O'Reilly. But folks, you must move on. As Kyle and Romo are out, and in comes, making their return to CTP, the current AEW Tag Team Champions. Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits, and the Profits are indeed up here on Collision. Of course, these two went through the gauntlet, the turmoil at WrestleMania in London. Went through against, went through the very best teams on the then SmackDown roster and came out on top, defeated every single one of them from the beginning all the way to the end. Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins remain champions on that night. That's new era. New roster, new show for the tag team champions. They look to the stop Dominic over this division. Provided by as they will in moments be in an in-ring competition. But the question is, it's who? For the champions I think you both challenge in my entire AW Legion tag team roster. To which team in the back will accept the challenge? He possibly the best pair, the best duo in the sport right now. My test for Angelo Dawkins, the current reigning, defending AEW Tag Team Champions. Currently the flag bearer, Sharon Clinton, the Tag Team Division. How much longer will that last? You gotta wonder. I mean, a loss tonight in the first line of collision could go a long way in a starting single hierarchy in the division. So the question is, who are they going up against? Well, hell, uh, this. This is about to be damn good, folks, because out come. Company by their coach, Kurt Angle. Team Olympia's tag game with Jason and Jordan. American Alpha in the house. Here I tell you, Kurt Angle in the middle. Gable on the left, Gordon on the right. American Alpha are back. They are ready, willing, and they are Gable. Look to secure the win for Team Olympia by toppling the champions on their very first night. There's Gable went up against Xavier, Derek Carlton at the draft, the three-way match for TTP Championship came out, came out losing end of that encounter, but back with Jordan Tide, part of American Alpha, part of Team Olympia, with Kurt Angle by their side. I like to get back in the tag team ranks. 
here on Collision. This one is sure to be good, folks. You got let us know in the chat down below or the comment section if you're watching this on the replay. Here you go. First time ever. Profit. Alpha. Here at Collision, we are underway. So you saw last week on Collision, the World Raiders met by, World Chiefs are met by AOP. That sure would be a one hell of a clap whenever that happens. But right now, we're focusing in Team Olympia. There's two conferences. So we're starting off with this Jordan Montez Ford here. Two very, uh, men, you want to say that. Jordan, we see the high advantage, size advantage on this play here. This takes down Montez Ford immediately. The Jason Jordan. Jordan now. Look at this. They do a half suplex. Good lord. Right out of the net of Ford is Jason Jordan. First Jordan making a turn last season as a part of American Alpha and XT with Chad Gable after being out of action for over a year or two thanks to neck injury. We got over him out of action for the rest of his career. But Jordan is back alongside Gable with her angles well in the corner. Now look at this. Jordan now into a heel hook locked in center of the ring. This could be it before the tag down here. Here comes Dawkins break up the submission. And we were in it for very long, but you gotta wonder what damage that could under the knee of Montez Ford. It's not goes Dawkins. The hand of Jordan. Jake Jordan is feeling it right now in the early going of the contest. Ford honors the knee. Kind of kick, sorry. Catches the inner DDT. Spikes him. Now Montez. Lining up to Jordan right for the elbow and he got it. Back elbow there now up to the top. Up to the top. Goes Montez Ford with the elbow in the lower back of Jordan. Now Jordan in trouble. Now Montez Ford, look at this. Spin scoop slam connects the power of Montez Ford on another level here. Powering up the big man of American Alpha, of Peel Olympia, whatever you want to call him. Another big shots there, but Jordan fighting back. Kick to the gut. Watch the chop. Now into the corner of. It comes Gable. Tag is made. Gable. Jordan, look at this now. Grand Ipa to connect. That could do it already. But Gable. Is that Pokey now into the cover? That could be it. Hooks the leg out of Montez. One. She got a big win over the champions. Two. Only gets a two count. Maybe he had to go for the pose. That could have been a three. Oh, that's Gable now. The right hand gets blocked. Now, we're talking about with a big body shot. Left and right. So, we're the kick of the gut. But Gable saw it coming. Puts it into an arm drag. Gable, one of the very best in the world at what he does. That's for sure. Just really his ego gets in the way sometimes of his, uh, his actions. It's now Gable hammering away on Montez. Big knee right to the jaw. Right now, Montez is a long way, a long way away from home here. A long way away from his corner, a long way away from the little Dawkins. But now, Montez having Gable back. Hit all, kick to the gut. Kind of like the tag here. I think it should make the tag. But now, instead, Montez can stay in this a little, maybe a little long, while longer. In the corner goes Gable, big shot there to the chest. And Montez Ford is feeling it. Montez now, eyeing up his man. Montez springboard cross by the little floor, but they also have coming. They'll be moving our harm's way there. Montez any hard there on the floor. A big far strike. And another one. My third by Gable. Gable hand on one of these shots. Not Montez four. Now just tosses him. You know, almost in the current angle there. Gable went, went like how he's going, but. I'm just to take a hit. He's been around long enough. And Gable, I mean. It looks like exactly the biggest tag Gable fan, it seems like. And, oh, big kick right to the face of Ford. Good Lord. Gable as close as they come. And so now back into the ring goes Montez. It could have done it. And the cover hooks the leg. A force a knockout shot. One, two, big win. No, again. Now he's into, again, trying to break up the pin. Now Jordan sends it in the corner. Down goes Dawkins. Here comes Montez Ford fighting back. Montez beginning to fight back here. Montez. Right now it's 2-on-1. You see that? There's no partner for 
for four. Got a good kick out of that side for Jason, Jason Gordon. Break out the smart as always. And again, a kick to the face. And Gable again with a taunting. And Dawkins back up to his feet. Take out Jay Gordon, I think, on the outside. I couldn't really see it, but too late. As now Gable in the bone arrow touch here. Submission locked in again on Montez, but again, Dawkins into the ring to break up the submission this time. Dawkins played court guard so far in this match. As now Jordan says Montez back in the ring. Gable waiting for him on the inside. He won't, nope. Counter from Ford. Montez. Bringing the fight back. Looking for the tag again, but again, Dawkins tagging by Wyatt and Jason Jordan on the outside. And again, American Idol take advantage of the distraction. You gotta admit, Team Olympia, American Alpha, are, are playing an epic game right now with the Titan Champions. And now Gabe will get it right here. Looking to end it with a little bit of dexterity. Set out of the ring. Hooks. Bridge pin two. And Montez somehow survives. Gable can't believe it. But that was the time to break up the pin. We're going to somehow find a way to get out of his own volition. And he did it. Just barely though. And now, oh, getting the kick to the head. I got to the head by Gable, and Gable again taunting the fans. But Gable, wait a minute, I'm turn around, Chad. I don't turn around as Sport makes a tag and comes in with Dawkins. The big man is in. Here comes Dawkins, big clothesline. And another one. Dawkins is rolling now at a collision. Good shot there. Another one. Another shot. Over the back of, of Gable. Gable stunned. Now Gable in trouble with more suplex there from, from Dawkins. The power of our way of Mando Dawkins maybe only battled by Jason Jordan. A goal oh, elbow right in the match there of Gable. Jordan the house of fire here in this match. So it's been tagged in. Another more suplex connects. And now Dawkins. Sends them into the corner, Irish whip. Dawkins comes in, Spruce just he's black. There takes it down Tag Gable. Gable now. And Tullin will check with a back of the neck. Oh, the Olympian. And a big body shot here from Dawkins going out of the body here of Gable. But Gable fighting back. Here comes Chad. Big shots here to the face. And I'm belly to belly. Super, look at the power of Gable, my God. Gable the power from this play. I'm back. I don't know what happened. Technical difficulties. The stupid arena in St. Louis cut my mic off as, as, as they had cut off greatness. But I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. You can't stop the train. They're going to say it off. Now here comes Jordan. Big boot in the face by Gable. Now, you know I was, I, I was struggling here. You know, I, I was getting frustrated since my mic was off, but I was catching up on the action. I was watching the action as it goes, and I think that we, we may have tag two champions here like the ego, the two spots, and the two cold. I can't wait. Well, while you're gone, Cole, this match has been all American Alpha so far. Hayden Chandler can bounce back in this match, if they can at all. I, I don't think they will. They will not bounce back. It's, it's about to be an American Alpha wave. Tag there by Montez Ford. Here comes Montez Ford. Flying to the taking down Jason Jordan. And I may be wrong here, ladies and gentlemen, because Montez Ford now, he's on the road. Down to two by the referee here. And here comes Montez. Oh, what a shot! Now Montez Ford. DT! Good next. And the comeback may be real! What a split moment! Vigadena coming back. Trying to overwhelm American Alpha here. Can they do it? Ford! Got Jason Jordan. Oh, Jordan, it's off the road. 
Oh, yeah, Jordan. Give it a block. Big shot to the face there by Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan. He's all but boy lands on his feet. Oh, no. Ah, drop kick. And the champion, ever so resilient here. To the top rope we go. And I want this board going crazy here. Ford throws Jason Jordan in the corner. Could it be that time? Could it be that time? The move that won the championship just, just connected it. The cash out connects, and now down goes Gable. And the watch is on. The cover by Dawkins. They got him. They steal. Oh, your chip. What a win here. They brought the swag. As Team Olympia, American Alpha, whatever the hell you want to call them, they couldn't get the damn job done. That, 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 that's a specific thing. They couldn't get it done. The Street Poppers are, unfortunately, still our AEW Tag Team Champions. I don't like that. Well, they wanted like the smoke. One. They got the smoke, and that's not from American Alpha. The question is, Cole, who on this roster, if anybody, can stop the Tag Team Champions? Look, look at this guy. Close your mouth. Roman Reigns, the big dog, the tribal chief, the head of the family table, the bona fide main eventer, the multiple time world champion, arguably the face of the company, and most importantly, the man who defeated the dead man in his own yard. Your list of accomplishments runs a mile long, whereas I have none of those things. I don't come from a wrestling family, I used to be a high school teacher. I'm an unproven commodity in the main event scene. My only NXT title reign got cut short because the wrestling world got turned on its head. While I might be the world heavyweight champion, I'm not at the pinnacle of this sport, but I am climbing and I am going to keep climbing until I plant my flag at the top of the summit. And Roman, I want you to bring any and everything you have tonight. Bring out all the moves in your arsenal. Bring your bloodline, Jimmy, Jay, Solo, even Rikishi, because it won't be enough to rip the title away from me. And that is cowboy shit. Well, you heard Hangman out of page there. He's fired up. He's motivated for the main event evening. Will he, he be able to defeat Roman Reigns? Only time will tell. We got to move on here, folks. Here it comes. Pinka. It's Pinka versus Darren Corbin. Hope you are ready for this one. How you, how you feel about this, expert? How you feel? Well, I hope Kenta can shut the mouth once and for all of Baron Corbin with one swift go to sit after Corbin's hard on my attack in the interview, Isaiah Mackey. If you ask him a simple question, I really told him about the truth. That Corbin lost if he did close out of the ring got packed out from the red room. Corbin liked hearing that at all. So we had to can get some revenge on behalf of not just Cook, but also Isaiah Mackey. And everybody else in the roster who feels that Baron Corbin, as I do, is a piece of human garbage. Said that that's been false, expert. Can, can you please tell me some things that has been wrong in his statements the last two weeks? Well, let's see here. Corbin thinks that Coca did it is where he's at right now through because Taz GM a collision. I mean, come on now. That's, that's preposterous. Cook defeated see the WrestleMania in seconds. He defeated Corbin last week got a collision. He didn't, he didn't defeat him. Cook did. He, he's trying to say that that Kenta just sold from Japan and wants to come to America and make it big because the American place for wrestling matters? Are you kidding me? How respectful is that? This guy is something else. 
he, he, he's, he's, well, he's proven before. He, he, he's a former champion. You know, he's a former champion in CCP. What has Kenta done in CCP? Can, can you please list this accomplishment for me? If you know. Well, he defeated Rio Yuta back at TakeOver London and something more over than I do, but he's going to take over London or WrestleMania. Or the draft, actually. He took Hangman Page at the, at the draft that he said he said something didn't do either. He took in Brian Lib in NXT last season as well. What's Corbett done since losing to Walter? All he does is cry and moan and complain and lose. That's his fault. Nobody else's. He hasn't gotten the opportunity to showcase what he, what he can do. And tonight, that opportunity is going to happen. He hasn't, he hasn't cried. Give him an opportunity, man. That's what you were doing earlier. All you do is cry into the interview. You're afraid to knock him out for no reason. Well, anyway, we're underway here. Corbin and Kenton, right out of the gate, down goes Corbin with a knee to the gut. All right, all right, all right, Baron. No, no, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh no. Right. Kenta has Corbin up for a gold up slate. The next. In the top of the center of the ring. And just like that, Kenta tackles Corbin. Is that like 15 so, seconds? You were saying? You were saying? I think that something was in Baron Corbin's eye. I, I think that, you know, his eye got caught, his vision was blurred. Somehow. Yeah, there was. Kenta's knee to the face. But Kenta, his pleasure ring debut, gets the winner tonight over Baron Corbin. Hopefully, taking the mouth of Baron Corbin for good. As Kenta rolls on here on Collision. Wait a minute, Kenta isn't done. He wants a microphone, Cole. What do you want to talk about it now? I will keep this short and I will keep this sweet. My name is Kenta and I am here to fight the best and win championships. Baron Corbin is not the best, but I know there is a man on the roster who is. Ilya Dragunov, you hold the AEW All-Atlantic Championship and I demand a title shot. Wait a minute. Well, there you go. Now this that's, that's for Kenta. could be one for the ages and right away too long to find out. Cause Cole, oh, here comes the Mad Dragon. Oh my God. The AEW All Electric Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Of course. Wait, what a, what a, what a racing of the couple weeks we've had here at TTP, Rapid right against Castillo at WrestleMania in a classic match. Came over him. Then went up against Oriana Grafting out short in another classic match. But look at this and listen to this crowd. Wonder who my opponent will be. Well, this is very, very interesting. Keith Lee don't have to wait that long to find out who his opponent will be. We go from dragging off in Kenta to the possibility of Keith Lee versus Wardlow. Collision is popping off right now, Cole. Things are heating up fast. Drew, what the hell was that earlier? I've been having to deal with Matt Riddle all night. He's pissed. He wants to fight, and I've been trying to calm him down. Oh, he wants to fight, does he? Take me to him then. I had to deal with those bloodline goons earlier, but trust me, I'm always up for another scrap. He's in the trainer's room, but they think he might have a fractured orbital bone from the headbutt. Look, you want to get your hands on him. He wants to get his hands on you, so why don't we settle this next week? If, and only if Matt is cleared, the two of you can have a match as long as you leave him alone and go home? That sound like a plan? Good. Now I have to go tell Matt. Don't cause any more trouble on your way out, please. Matt's trying to keep his show together. The possibility of Drew McIntyre versus Matt Riddle next week? 
Oh my God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Okay, well, the next mission start before we get to the other main event. If Matt Riddle's clear, then it would be Matt Riddle taking on Drew McIntyre after McIntyre headbutted Matt Riddle. From being pissed off from last week's event with Roman Reigns in the bloodline. How how how, how would this go about? Will it even happen? Let me hear this in the in premiere chat down below. Also, we'll hear from Maria, the, the high of Valkyrie, who will make her in ring debut next week on AEW Collision. She got a mandatory predicate. That's why she's not in, in, in action this week. Understandable, of course. But next week, she'll be in. That ring. I cannot wait. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes returned to AEW Collision for the first time since AEW Collision Episode 1. What will be on the mind of the American Nightmare? How will, how will things clear off after what has happened the last, last two weeks since we made his return? Well, we'll, we'll find out next week on AEW Collision. And then it is time for our main event. Of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, Hangman Adam Page, Roman Reigns, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line for the first time in season eight. First main event with the World Title on the line here in Collision History, and it's next. Thank you all so much for joining us here for AEW. We all know how I say it. It's the main event! Expert, are you ready? I couldn't be more ready. Cole is out first. It is a challenger. Unfortunately, as I, like, as I uh, fortunate it is to have to call this, he is the tribal chief. He is the head of the table. He is the one to end the one. He is Roman Reigns. Now it's very Hello. interesting here, Cole, is that Roman Reigns, I hate him and the wife from earlier right tonight, not bring Rikishi down to the ring with him, no solo, no Usos. It is Roman Reigns all by himself. As you heard from Hangman Adam Page, this man has accomplished so much in such a short period of time, including being the one to end the dead man. He put him down for good at WrestleMania. And now he's looking to get back to the top after over a year of not being in the main event, of over a year of losing, over a year of having to find himself and even going away at certain points in season seven. Now it's time for the tribal chief to rise again. It's time for the tribal chief to reclaim what he says is rightfully his, and that is the World Heavyweight Championship. An incredible resume for this guy. Being the only, the second man ever, and literally the last man ever to defeat The Undertaker. At WrestleMania, he made history. Him and AJ Styles are the only men to do it. But that's not what we're talking, we were talking about tonight. It's all about that world championship. It's all about Hangman Adam Page. And this the end of Hangman before the run even starts. That's the question that we need to answer here tonight, expert. And what are your thoughts on that? Well, I have to agree with you, Cole. Roman Reigns won hell of a fight for Hangman Page, but I hope Roman's coming here expecting an easy challenge. But as we've seen in the last couple of weeks, Hangman Page, on the championship around, around his waist, over his shoulder, is another pro wrestler trying to that ring. We saw at the draft, went back to back, defeated Hank Kenta and Big E Langston, back to back. Bloodied, beaten, bruised. Battered, Hangman Page somehow came out on top against two men in two different matches. Two of the very best on the roster. Hangman took them both down. 
that is not something that normal men, normal human being, normal athletes can do. Hangman Page did that at the draft, and he looks to defeat Roman Reigns tonight. I made him a collision to keep that roll going, keep that train a rolling, if you will. But of course, I mean, I don't need too much credit, but Hangman, come on. And Roman, first off. time ever. You know, the draft started back at draft when these two men after match against Big E. And so bring an, I'm in the ring when Big E on the ramp looked back to a hangman when he's attacked out of nowhere with a spear by Roman Reigns. And Reigns, at the end of the show, straight out with Hangman Page. And now they do the same tonight at Collision. This time, first time ever, one on one in the ring with each other. For the richest prize on this brand, up for grabs. This is a bona fide dream match. It is. One of the biggest that's they come. Probably one of the biggest matches we've had so far this season, ladies and gentlemen. Probably the biggest main event. For that coveted World Heavyweight Championship. That is his crucial for the link. And you hear this crowd already, or St. Louis, Cody, you gotta let him just, you gotta let him go sometimes, you know? They're underway, a hangman in Roman, look at this. Wow. Two heavyweights, two bulls, body horns in the middle of the ring on collision. Reigns, 6'5", 265. Hangman, 6'3", 240. And either man budging, moving an inch. As they go back to their corners, Crowd gives them what the fan attention, undivided love for our main event. You heard Hamlin talk about it earlier on. He used to be a teacher in high school for swing pro wrestling. Roman Reigns was born into this business. He's a member, maybe the biggest wrestling family of all time, the Anawaki Fatu family. Currently, the head of the table of it. Down goes Roman. Reigns the perfect down the head of the king man. And okay, uh, Hangman, I, I, I was in high school doing commentary myself. So, so, so what does that have to do with anything, Hangman? Okay, you were a teacher. Okay, you, you learned the game, all right? Not that, it, it, not, it, 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 not that that Roman Reigns had to struggle too. He had to as well. He struggled and he, he overcame adversity multiple times. You being a teacher not going to get a minute. point from me. What Hangman means, Cole is that he had to fight for everything he'd be given in this business. But Roman Reigns was born into it. He was he was given everything because of his name. Look I knew who Roman Reigns was. So you mean to, so you mean to tell me he earned the TV by five, he earned Solo by five by the Usos by being by his side. He earned those things? No, then by him be, because he, he their family, because he is their cousin. Because he's the no, biggest star the of the family, the, not named no, Dwayne Johnson. They have to buy into the vision that Roman Reigns had to be the head of the table. He had to earn their trust. I didn't solo you know to trust me. So you kidding me? What that guy, I mean, he's a... What do you mean they don't know what trust means? Of course they do. Solo does it. There's no way he does. That, that, that guy is a, a monster. We like Roman Reigns put him into the bloodline, isn't there? It's not because he looks pretty, but because he's a savage. Because he do whatever Roman has to him do without any second thought. Roman now, uh oh, the two cocky hangman comes back for a suplex. That's, that's what loving your family means. Being there oh, for your family. Knee. How about you cry one? Wait a minute, buckshot, no. Roman saw it coming. Roman closes the gap. Hangman counters. Oh, wait a minute. No. Over the top rope goes Can the champion. Spoke? The bloodline is a shining example of what loyalty looks like. Take some notes. Some of y'all need them. I'm sure you do. Is now, Hangman rolling back up to vertical base. These two again. You see the laptop. That man really ever did a enter the over the other so far. As now Hangman club panel on top and rolling into the turnbuckles. Good lord. 
As now Reigns in trouble. Hey man, lining up. Maybe looking for something here. Charging in. Reigns in the corner. Another knee right to the jaw. But yeah, I think Cole it comes down to in this match. What can hit first? The butt shot or the spear? And I gotta ask you, what do you think will hit first? Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Hold that thought. It could be answered right now. No, again, Roman catches the butt shot. Hangman Adam Page in midair with a spear. The spear looks like it has a little, little more advantage to hit than the buck stop. Hangman Adam Page has to has to time that buck stop perfectly and hoping that Roman Reigns doesn't move. Now cover back in the ring. And we saw that already this match twice. Now Roman has blocked the buck shot. Reigns has that scatter. He was watching take over Rikishi on the island. We leading up to this match. Yes, no, the buckshot is dangerous. Buckshot is lethal. If it hits, it is over. It is over. It's all that the draft against Big E. Big E, I mean, I gotta admit, he does drive two buckshots, but it was very, very close. Penta, same thing. Yeah, remember though, the buckshot put down Alistair Black at takeover. And, and, and he shaves over him. What got a, what got a top on that night in London? But Roman, what the Roman? Oh! Oh! Caught him with a pop of power bomb. He caught the spear. Cover hooks the leg. To take the championship, only gets a two. So you see it there. A man caught the spear. It's like Roman did earlier with a butt shot. But Roman now fighting back goes to the knee. Roman, look at this into a choke here. This could be it. The force of tag are, are, are packs out here for the hangman. You gotta think Roman has been running on as well over the last six to nine months. Defeated Terry yeah. Cross. The first man to do that in a singles match. Of course, we've done take her at WrestleMania. We're tired of take her at WrestleMania. And now you're night against Hangman. As Hangman firing up a range, fighting back here. Look at these shots. On the tribal chief from the head of the table. And the spear again. No, gets caught again. The Hangman is caught right back. Roman spins around, big boot. Hangman ducks it off the ropes. But the champion comes back and with a Samoan drop. That's what makes Roman Reigns dangerous right there. He was quick on his feet. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No. He went for the dive to the outside. The Hangman comes back in and catches him with a big boot. And again, you got a bit cold. Both of these two have each other well scouted going into this main event. As they should. Oh no, wait a minute. Hangman will run up the middle row. Fall away slam. Oh my god. The ring man just shifted. How did you get him up? Oh man! Get to the cover! We got a new what? It's still jumping! Hey man, can't get it done. Reigns at two. That was close. If Roman Reigns, that was way too close. As now, Hangman gotta try it one more time. Looking for another butt shot. If this hits, it's over for Roman Reigns. Butt shot man coming. Reigns ducks it. We're almost there! Everybody in this building is on their feet. They can't believe it. I can't believe it. He can't believe it. Reigns can't believe it. Hangman Page just survived a spear to Roman Reigns. I never heard this building this loud all night because we really hear what you're saying in my headset. They got a raucous here in St. Louis. Oh, is Hangman's knee hurt? Hangman's grabbing at that knee badly, man. There's nothing more than the knee right now. This hits Reigns around the ring. Went for it. No. Hangman, it was all It was sleep. Oh, he played passing with the knee. Maybe he saw, maybe he saw what he was going for. Maybe he played passing with the knee injury. Maybe he faked it. Possibly. That makes sense. No, he, he used that stick to me. He was grabbing at it just now. What a smart guy. 
Nice kick there now, by the ref. To the floor, down goes Reigns. Hangman now. If we get him back to the ring, he'll maybe hit the buckshot this time. With, is this attempt number three, I think? Third time in the club. But now we're rolling quickly back to his feet. And Again, Roman. closes the gap. Oh, no. Oh, God. Billy in the back, suplex into the apron. Hangman. His back driven into the hardest part of the ring and now into the steel stairs. A Roman Reigns, put down your finger, Cole. It's not the time. Yeah, come on, man. Acknowledge him. Do it, X. I will acknowledge no nobody but my world champion. Pop, pop on the floor. Ah, come on. You won't be a world champion in a few minutes, I'll tell you that. What? Well, right now, the cowboy is doing what cowboys do, and there's some cowboy shiznit, if you know what I mean. There's no hitman. Gonna try it right. again for the butt shot. Again, butt shot. Oh no! He hit the ref! He hit the wrong person! He hit the wrong person! He hit the wrong He hit the wrong He pulled the referee's way! He pulled the referee's way! He did the piece of garbage! Roman Reigns was smart. Real naked. I think that was a real naked choke. He got a fight. The, the guillotine is in. Reigns put the referee in hard way of the butt shot. He, yes, he knew he couldn't he, reverse it. He pulled the referee in the way. The referee put the referee in the way. Saw so my only he, two he, eyes. He, he, yeah, yeah, he did. He, 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 he got the rear neck he took on the referee, pushed him, and got the guillotine locked in on Hangman at the same time. What a beast. What a beast. This is the tribal chief, baby. You love like this way. Come on, Hangman. Fight out of it. Fight. No. Come on, damn it. Not like this. He won't fight, baby. He won't fight because the tribal team is about to be your world heavyweight champion. Tap out, sucker. Come on. Come on, coward. Wait a minute. Look at the strength of Hangman. Hangman fights out of the DT. Hangman wins. Hangman wins. No. No. Tap them. From the down. Get over. Hangman cover. No. I'm so lucky. Not over yet. You have got to be kidding me. And after Reigns just pulled, the three checks that Kingman still survives. But now again, going to try for another buck shot. That's going to hit on Roman Reigns all match. Can he do it this time? Oh, the oh, 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 oh. No, come on. Oh, this piece of garbage. The Enforcer! The Street Champ! Solo Sokoa from out of the crowd with a damn hoodie on. I couldn't even see him. Attacking Hangman Page. Back for ground. Hangman went by DQ. So the champion has Hangman Page! Alright, I think Roman gives a damn. Uh, 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 now that this point, Roman will lose the Jesus! Samoan Spike by Solo. And Reigns is loving every bit of this right now. This is right disgusting. See what I'm talking about? Ooh, wow. Oh, is no. Not time, like baby? this. Uh, uh, hey, Hello? what? Hello? Oh, Watch out. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What are you fixing? Solo is down and out, which means we only want to make the way of the big red machine, and that is the man he seems to want. Why is Kane here? We gotta think. Hangman Page is up on this right now, wherever he is. Roman for the shot. He blocked it. I took some rounds. Roman Reigns has been sent to hell. Devil's favorite demon. Collision will never be the same. <laughs>